In this project, I'll be showing you an easy way to crochet your own scrunchie. I'm going to start off using two different colors of worsted weight yarn, a size N crochet hook. You could go down a size to a L or K depending on how you crochet. I tend to crochet tight, so I need a bigger hook. Then we'll also need a darning needle. I like using one with a large eye to get the yarn through there. And then we need a hair tie and I just pick a pack of these up at the Dollar Tree and I use them for a couple projects. And don't forget scissors, we'll need those at the end. The first thing we're going to do is create a slip knot. Once I get the slip knot on my hook, I'm going to grab my hair tie and I'm going to put it on the back end of my hook here just so I can thread it. Right, now I'll start working on the hair tie. So I want to chain three to begin with. One, two, and three. And now all we do for the rest of the project is double crochet around the circle. And we're just going to keep going, keep going. And you're going to notice at one point it's going to get full. So we want to give it some ruffle. And when you get to that point, we're just going to scrunch up our yarn and keep going. We'll start double crocheting by yarning over, insert our hook into the hair tie. I'm going to grab the yarn from behind and we're going to pull it up and then yarn over our hook again, pull through two, yarn over our hook again, pull through two. Now we'll continue to double crochet all the way around our hair tie. Just going to take a little pause here to show you how to show you what I meant by needing to scrunch it up. So you can see here I've pretty much gone all the way around my hair tie, but it's flat. So I am just going to pull it down here and give myself some more room to work. Now I've gone all the way around my circle. And so the only thing we need to do is insert my hook into the top of this chain three. I'm going to pull my yarn through that and then pull my yarn through again and then cut off my tail and then pull that through all the way and make a knot there. And now all I have to do is weave in my ends, use my darning needle to weave these tails in a few times. I'll you another option that I use sometimes too. Sometimes I will just use a smaller crochet hook and insert that here and there and keep pulling the yarn through as I'll show you here. I get all these ends weaved in a little bit. I will snip off the tails and we're all done. Here's another one I made just to show you different colors. This one is actually only using one strand of the worsted weight yarn and I used this variegated leftover yarn I had so this is just how it came out. Now using only one strand of yarn I would use a smaller size hook like I used a K on this one. You could do a solid with just one strand if you wanted to. Totally your choice. You can have some options. It's still the basic concept of double crocheting all the way around other option is you can make a thicker one. Um, I don't like it as well, but it does work, especially if I'm trying to use up some leftover yarn. This is a six bulky. It just doesn't ruffle as well, if at all. So just depends on what look you're going for. Feel free to play around with them. They don't take much yarn. And like I said, pick up a pack of the hair ties from the Dollar Tree and you can make a bunch of them. You can even buy your yarn there. This purple just yarn is Dollar Tree yarn, and I love the color of it. Be sure to hit the like button for me if you like this video, and I'll talk to you again in the next one.